Organ donation saves lives, but there aren't enough donors. Yeah, artificially grown organs may solve the shortage one day. There are major technical hurdles for sure, but tonight a possible breakthrough. KPX 5's Juliet Goodrich shows us how light is saving lives. These are capillaries, the smallest blood vessels found in the human body, but these are man-made. For Mark Escalante, blood is thicker than water. His family is everything. I've got a lot to live for. I've got my wife, my two children, my grandson who will be graduating this year. Mark inherited his mother's beautiful smile, but he also inherited her chronic kidney disease. Both his kidneys are failing. Yeah, I need that transplant. It's not, I don't want it. I need it. Unfortunately, the statistics are grim. Each day, dozens of people die in need of a donated organ. And many, like Mark, will languish for years, waiting. There's just not enough donors out there. Now, a Bay Area biotech is a big step closer to resolving the shortage. Our mission is to eliminate the transplant wait list. Prelis Biologics intends to use 3D printers to build organs and tissues using a patient's own cells. But unlike its competitors, Prelis has cleared a huge obstacle. There's a little bit of that like, wow, that's... That's really working. I had to pinch myself. It was, it felt really good. The team has developed a technology that can rapidly print the tiniest of lifelines in the human body. These are intricate blood vessels known as capillaries. They're 10 times smaller than a human hair. They're what allow us to deliver oxygen efficiently and remove waste like CO2. And also the nutrients that we need to grow um, healthy tissue. Melanie Matthew is founder and CEO. Eric Busby is director of engineering. They knew 3D printing had its problems. It works great, but it's rather slow. Complex organs could take years to print. Without a steady supply of oxygen, the patient's cells used to finish the organ would die within minutes. The real struggle in trying to both fabricate an organ and to keep it alive once you do have it is being able to get oxygen in, CO2 out, nutrients in, waste out. So the light is where the laser is shining power. Prelis solved the problem by using 3D hologram technology and lasers to build these tiny blood vessels. We took tools from optical physics and used them in ways um, that no one had been using them before. The high resolution printing of the tissue structures is near instantaneous. Our goal is to be producing human kidneys in 24 hours or less. As for Mark... I'm not done yet. I'm not done on this earth yet. He's thrilled about the news, but he's also realistic. Until these organs become a reality, Mark has a message. Be a donor. Register to be a donor. So when will we see this? Prelis believes in the next two or three years. Trial applications for people in the most dire need. In San Francisco, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.